So, uh, Umu. Umu told us that we were going to be reacting to Blackpink, and I love Blackpink. They're my favorite group. I stand them. Did I say that right? Yes. So I decided to dress for the occasion. So I wore black, black, pink. Black pink. She looks great. I look great. Man, make me whistle like a missile. <laughs> Wait, Henry's out of the shot and shit. That's a problem. That is a problem. <laughs> hey now. Let's get hey now. Cuddly. Hey now. You're a rock this star. Get it on. Go. You're a shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, Emil, introduce yourself. Oh, my name's Emil. <laughs> Play trumpet. Jazz. What's your major? He's really good. Jazz trumpet. And also. Memes. Oh, brain and cognitive sciences. <laughs> I forget about that. So this is Blackpink. I sent him the Blackpink reaction, so he's seen oh. like Boombaya and okay. yeah. Whistle. Oh, you watch us reacting to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Woo. Yeah, well you say literally nothing. <laughs> First one is Playing With Fire. These are the most recent songs. Also Playing With Fire and Stay were released at the exact Just same time. Just like fire. Stay and play with fire. Well, it's Playing With Fire. You want to stay and join me playing with fire? That wow. That does not make grammatical sense. Let's do it. Blackpink. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Yeah. Very pro that. Well, at least she's piano. not standing on a piano. Piano bassy yeah, it's conglomeration. Like... Oh. That's a pretty safe beat. This. Mixed really well. Shit, son. Oh my god, I'm in love. That just got so hype real fast. <laughs> like, that was just this instant. This is very hype. They're still hot. Look at that. I, I still stand them. Dude, holy fuck. I don't yeah. like her voice, but I still love it. I love her voice. I think her voice is great. It sounds like so thick, like her voice is. Thick with a Q or a C, either one. It's interesting how they all have different timbres of voice. Mm, so you yeah, can like yeah. tell it's a different person singing and just adds to the contrast. So it's like normally in like classical music, you it's try the same to, person. You, you try, try to, to blend, blend, yeah. But, but in, yeah, the like, contrast yeah. is nice. Also, like, all four of their voices are pretty unique to yeah, themselves. Yeah, but like, they all fit together yeah. super well. So, like, like they just went through all four of them just then, and I could tell that it was a different person each time. It's yeah, like, be. the background is so good. <laughs> their hands are close. That means they're gonna get even closer. They're gonna... Oh, the tree's on fire. A lot of things are on fire, bud. Oh, just like this beat. Oh, shit. That's oh, close to cinematography. Bomb. Oh, that's so cool with her hair. It's beautiful. Yeah, the beat's fire. The mood is fire. Oh, obviously I don't speak Korean. It's all around lit. But there's something about the way she pronounces her words that is just so... I agree. So, like, swagalicious. Uh, <laughs> everything's on fire. The water's on video. fire now. The like, water's like, on fire. At this point. Everything like, spontaneously combusts at any moment. Yeah. The I <laughs> <laughs> I like not to sexualize girl groups. They I forgot dances. how much I love them. Ah! Fuck, they are super good. I mean, it's not sexualizing them, it's just, that's a, it's a fact. She is so hot. Oh I my love God. the core progression of this song. The core progression of this song is Everything's really good. Everything's on fire. Including my heart. I'm like, I like the chord progression. Now it's raining. When's like, everything's on fire. Beat drop was a little predictable, but it's still groovy. Don't play with me, boy. Save me. BTS, save me. And the water's purple. How? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting it's for a it to throw on fire, though. I feel like how you never see the guy's face. Fate! Fate. <laughs> that was very subtle. Fate. It just like stopped. And it was just like very. Ain't none of this BTS symbolism shit. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to get something. We gonna put it in big letters and light it on fire. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up, I think. So is she saying her fate is dangerous, or like? Her romance is dangerous. Her attraction to fire and it will lead her to play with it, because that is fate. No, that was a good upbeat song, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. done. Damn it. She's like, damn, I burned everything. Oh. There's nothing left to burn. Black, pink, except the C and the N mark. Backwards. <laughs> you know, 
I think I really like Blackpink. Oh yeah? Yeah. I wonder why. Compared to Mama Moo. <laughs> <gasps> okay, visually, do you, you like them better? Visually, I like them better. Okay, but music-wise? I don't know, uh, they're equal. Okay, what do you think of that one? I liked it a lot. It was Blackpink, for sure. It was definitely Blackpink. <laughs> if you didn't, hadn't told me the artist's name, but it was a K-pop group, I probably would have been able to guess that it was Blackpink, because it was similar to the other Blackpink that we listened to, but I think in a good way, I think they've like found their their niche in the music, and they're exploiting it really well. Okay, musically. Mixed very, well and catchy. Very, catchy. very well produced. Everything was like crisp, clean. Like, and then things popped out when they should have, and nothing popped out when they shouldn't have. Like, mm -hmm. aka the percussion wasn't like smash, smashing our brains mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. you it's know? Like perfect amount of balance. It was mm -hmm. like listening in 2040p, 2060p. What's the double of 1080? But 2160. 2160. <laughs> Anything interesting, like chord wise, progression wise? Not really. Not really. Okay. Wait. It was mostly like arpeggiators. Dun 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 I'm a that fan. beat drop was awesome. Yeah, the beat is cool. Beep, the beep, chorus. Beep, 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 beep. If they delayed the beat drop on one of the choruses, that would have actually they been the did. most. They did. They did on one. By of two, them. by like, like two middle. bars. Not enough. No. No, it's, I mean like it was they so have. Predictable. Okay. If you put like the highs of like the chorus, like they go in like in time, but then like the bass comes in like later, like a couple beats later. Oh. That's pretty okay. sick. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you mean. So yeah. it's like, it right? starts, but not I would have really. lost my shit. <laughs> but it was still groovy. I like the beat. So yeah, this is Stay. This it was released the same exact time oh, as Black Fire. Fire. Yes, oh, cool. and this is more of a relaxed song, so I think Shimon might like it. We'll see. No, but you know? upbeat's good. Yeah, chill good, is good. like, uh, chill is good too. why? I mean, that's what classical Ooh. music's for, right? Uh, that's not no, true. No, that's not. No. Shelsea Kovic. Take that back. <laughs> So Yunya and Kevin have already seen Stay. But we stayed for more. But it didn't stay in my memory. It was a long, long, long time ago when I was immature and I was like, oh no, they didn't like it, so I deleted it. But we're gonna just, they're gonna watch it a and second Hopefully time. we're gonna like it much more this time. Oh, Go. I remember the color palettes of this. It was it's, it's a nice video. McDonald's. But, dude, but it's like, <laughs> run down. Uh, <laughs> Harmonica. That's better than Taylor Swift. It's got a nice little harmonica in D flat, which, okay. Oh, I like their voices better in this context. Her voice is so sweet. Mm. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Is that E.T.? What? She's not playing that guitar. She knows how to play it, but it might she just knows. be the editing. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I like how everything is just broken. I really Jesus. dig those white shoes, honestly. That is a cool jumper right there. Oh no, blazer. Whoa. The Does her jacket have eggs and bacon on it? Oh, that's a really cool setup. All the cocktail drinks. See, this song with the guitar is da da da. <laughs> Isn't it? It sounds like the mic was way too close to the to the hole. The progression. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Da 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 all over again. I like it because it gets some of the bass that comes out. A right little, when you yeah, I can see it. So. I actually really like that effect. It doesn't sound very natural to me. What happens? Sure. Deeps. It's interesting how they mix styles. Felony? Like, normally people just stick to one style. Oh, really? Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought there was gonna be a, like, a drop there or something. Yeah. I thought it was gonna it be- felt like it. I thought it was gonna be more heavier, but then turned out to be really light. Yeah. Clapping on two and four. Offers a very interesting juxtaposition to this doomsday set that they're walking around right now. They mix together the exactly. snapping and the yes. clapping. That's pretty, pretty that, neat. Yeah, oh, we didn't notice this last yeah. time. Are you liking it better than last I time? I think so. I mean, I mean I'm trying to put aside my bias against like acoustic songs like like these and just try to approach it from an objective standpoint. And I mean, because it's really high quality work, it's just not my favorite genre. Well, that was interesting. Like harmonica, the the vocal line. Went to went somewhere that I did not think it was gonna go against the bass line. Oh, I liked how it cut out. Yeah, bass because the bass line was just descending. No, it it's goes from two minor to one major in the key of D flat. D flat. Oh, you know it's because it ended on the leading tone. It's an Can't interesting imagine. combination with like the visual. You wouldn't expect the audio to be like this. Yes! Cool. Wow! <gasps> That's pretty dope. Wait, now all four of them are together. They found each other in the abandoned city. Taylor. 
I don't know that brand of guitar. Yeah, this is Taylor Swift F. Shh. Get okay. off that bus, it's gonna explode. It's Get gonna, off that bus. It's gonna set on fire. According yeah. to Black Pink logic, everything will set According on fire. According to GTA. The laws of Black Pink. That was cool. Where is they? Yes, fishnets. I, I mean, I'm, I'm trying not to assume gender. This would be easy to do a cover of, too. Just saying. Okay. I like keep trying to read the random text they have like scattered throughout. They're very good with their signs, I'll say that. <laughs> Kinda has the same guitar pattern going, but it's groovy. I love that. Oh shit, that is a much different message than if you don't read the subtext. Heaven is a place. Are they going for the country thing? Because it's very ominous for like a music video, because they're kind of in like a destroyed, abandoned area. Mm -hmm. Her hands on a nice Imperfect, authentic cadence. Uh, the hey. of the third. So, Makes me so that, that's oh, actually Where do happy. all these people come from? I'm really confused and concerned for their well-being. Girls, run away! Yeah, this is really upbeat for like snow and dark. Oh, where did all those people come from? Yeah, you just <laughs> oh, noticed. Yeah, no, I just know it. Yeah, oh, and then now, now they're, they're, they're gone. Or are they, are they ghosts or something? <laughs> I'm not very observant, if you haven't realized. <laughs> Would you look at that? Cool. I'm a fan. Yeah, wow. me too. Got to stamina in that. Dang. You do that. You do this every time. Stanley. I like it better. Yeah. What were the people at the end there? I, mean, I feel like maybe, ghosts could be maybe, like, okay. if it was a reference to death. David, Davis has a... But yeah. So this person that they wish was there is dead. It's all those people or other dead people that are always there, but you just can't see them. So that's why they kept like appearing and then disappearing. So it's like, they're there. So it, really they did, this person, whoever they're wishing was there, did stay. They just don't know. Watch us be like completely off because we don't know all the English oh, lyrics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, probably. This is purely just from visual like representation. Yeah, yeah. They have a very interesting group dynamic. I mean, yeah, I like it. I like it better, but it's still, yeah. still okay. not my favorite. I think it's a much. I think "Whistle" and "Boom" by is a very good pairing. While the previous song and this one are also very good, because like those two is more pop, everything pops out more. This those these two are more mixed. They're more harmonious or less percussive. So I like the pairing. I like their music. Can you guys talk about like what you, if you remember, like what you thought the first time you heard this? I think yeah, it's very, like we couldn't hear the, what it sounded like with headphones. So it just sounded like a very flat song with. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like there's not, like there's nothing too special to the vocal melody. I think we just like, the flatness kind of got to But us. I think with headphones also, the, the quality of their voice really pops out. Because now we're really noticing how how good the singers are. What I really appreciate about about them is that each of the singers have a very, or not just the singers, like the members, like they all have a very unique timbre to their voice. Whereas like with some groups, like their vocals seem to like all mix together. You have no idea who's singing, but with Blackpink, it's like, That's true. it's very distinct. Like they have a mm. very unique quality to each of their, their vocals. Also so. mellow rapping is a thing and it's great. Which one do you like better? <laughs> playing with fire. One. Ooh, you like playing with fire, and you like. Um, I think I, I think. Oh. Uh, this one. Okay. I liked. I mean, I like the little claps in this one, and I like the like the. This one felt more like a comfortable kind of vibe, you know, like just chilling with your friends, and you're sitting around singing a song. Yeah. But I, I think I liked the first one better. It felt more black pink. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I liked this one a lot so much because I listened to the other three, and then it had this stark contrast. So you're right, right afterwards it. made me more likely to end up enjoying it more i think because like it was just a different thing but i still think the first one was really really good but being in the sort of different vein of black pink was nice for, for for a little while at least so you're you're voting second one i think i'm gonna vote second one yeah i was just yeah i was feeling it i was happy i was good and it wasn't too like whiny mm -hmm. it was like my life would be fine if you left but also if you want to stay that's cool and then there was some like Literally like 50 people only wearing white showed up yeah, and then was I was cool. confused and creeped out But it was all the McDonald's workers oh. I'd probably listen to the first one more just because you know, it's more party party ish and the first one the first one Still. Playing with fire because that's what I do for breakfast I like the second one better. Okay. Yeah. Play back. Well, obviously with different Just people. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> it's hard because they're different songs. Like there yeah. are different kinds of songs. Yeah. I liked 
I liked the first song, contrary to even, you know, that's a fair point Gwen made, but. Contrary to what? Like just their, their tone and their no, beltiness was... for the first, oh! the first song. But I like that. I think it was appropriate for the song and I think they did a good job with it. I think they have, we're so used to watching a lot of boy groups, so we're used to these guys who have really high voices mm -hmm. and they're singing up there. So now we have these girls, these women, who are singing lower in their register. And it's a different kind of mm -hmm. sound. And I think they're able to get a little more resonance out of it than the high floatiness that you get with a lot of these boys groups, these mm -hmm. boy bands. Mm -hmm. And I think they're fucking killing it. I think they did a good job in the first one. And I think they also used that floatiness a little bit more in the second one. That's me at 0.75 for the second one and 0.25 for the first one. All right, you know that like orange ribbon that's tied on her wrists? It's the color and shape of like Kraft cheese singles. May I just also say when we went to go drop Davis off at the train station, um, I, we've been listening to Whistle in my house on the speaker system before, and so the entire ride there, he kept just sitting there going. <laughs> and then he, and then I would point it, I would point it out the fact that he was doing that, and he'd be like, Oh my God, I hate you! I just get progressively more and more angry because it's like one of those things you just subconsciously, if nothing's going on, you just mm -hmm. like hum something. You just like whistle like a missile. Yeah. Bomb, bomb.